Hello, everybody. I am your host, Michael Manning. I am joined today by... My name is Andy Sid. It's Andy Sid again. It's me. It's him. Um, and hello, Tom. We are here bringing you... No, that's funny. Uh, bringing you the very first day of... Oh, there's the invite. League of Legends tryouts, which... This is an actual match. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I said try. I'm so used to saying tryouts for League of Legends, but yeah, no, we are we are in the start of our first official season. Well, not our first official season, but we are here at the start of the official season. Penn State Barons varsity team up against um, RPI. I was not told what RPI stands for, but that's what I was given. Raging. Penis Institute. Yeah. Here you go. Penis Inspectors. <laughs> Why are they raging? Do they like their jobs? They're just, they're they just like mad because it's always bigger than theirs. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. I mean, I guess, I, guess, I, guess, I, guess, I guess I guess, we are a school sport. <laughs> I guess we're supposed to shit talk. Yeah. You guys suck. <laughs> <laughs> shit, I don't know. I don't know where to go with it. Hold on. I think pizza pie is not supposed to be there. That's the wrong. Most pizza pie is supposed to be there. Yeah. No, pizza pie is not supposed to be there. It was pizza pie. He's the creator again. Yeah, no, he's on the wrong team. <laughs> that must be somebody from RPI. He slots in perfectly. Do I already have a window capture? I already have a window capture for League. What the hell? That's crazy. We should have a few more folks joining us. I've just been munching on coffee. Right? But we'll <laughs> we will have to see if they join. Should be getting started here any moment. We'll see, it's gonna log into Discord to make sure we didn't get posted a draft lull without us noticing. Oh, I forgot to. Oh man, I forgot to clock in. I'm working right now, Andy. It's horrible. <laughs> Better get a timesheet for those nine extra minutes. Ten extra minutes. Ah, <laughs> oh, they trust me. I mean, hey, the stream has been live. True. Do you have... Huh? Oh, wait. Which giants? Is that checked in? We'll have stuff. We had some complications. He's getting on. Our other dude, can you list your players' roles? So, quick thing. Do you have any idea what the hell this means? That is a code. Yeah, no shit. I don't know for what. Like, check back on league. You go back on league. Wait, that's not the game. What the fudge? I almost used it. But thank you for not. I appreciate it. Damn. Just so may not be able to come. What a nerd. What a goober. It's a goofy goober, yeah. True. Okay, looks like um, most, if not all, of our PI are in here. Now we just have Baron hopping in, and any moment now we should get the draft LOL, we should get on our way. It is a, it is a bit of a cluster. I'm... Here's the thing, Don. Do you go to Penn State Baron? Because if so, you could absolutely hop in and come check out the club and everything, and we could try you out for a team. However, we are a school esport, yeah. so we can't just recruit Randy's on the internet. Do appreciate the interest, though. I was getting rid of all my notes.
Allah mal und Gebot. Hm? Allah mal. Ich habe einen Test in der Chat. <clears throat> well, yeah, because I needed your damn username so I could mod you. That's what I was trying to tell ya. What do you mean? I mean, hold on. Rules manager. What is it? The Asian heat. Because you can't handle the meat. That. Yeah. Oh, oh, you have the icon? Yeah. Oh, you're a moderator. Artist. Do not make an artist. There you go. Congratulations, Andy's been promoted. He's a mod now. Oh, uh, wait. It doesn't give me the thing. Hold up. Ooh. Okay, and here we have the Drift of the Wells. Apologies for the placeholder image, folks. Bada boom. All right. There you go. Okay, this is the same game. He gave me a code. I don't know. Tea time. <laughs> it's wine time. The power. You have the power. I always have the power. You have the touch. I am the power. You have the power. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm stronger. After the, I'm smarter. <laughs> Stupid. I'm better. After, I am better. After, you know how weird it was. Like there was like a TikTok trend of people using like a trucks, what an a trucks line. Which one? It was the like I am not a demon. I am not a god. I am something worse. That's a trucks. Oh really? Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. Okay. Very first band from RPI, Amumu. I don't know if anybody on Parrot plays Amumu, so that's it. Probably didn't want the Amumu support. That's fair. Varsity. Azir, very powerful mid laner when he has a actual focused team with them. And I mean, that is the situation here. <laughs> We'd like to think. No. <laughs> no, it was garbage. Exactly. The only good guy here is Andy. Watch, yeah, honestly. How are those Rengar combos treating you? They're actually really easy. So it's just E, W, Q, Q. Yeah. And like, but like, he, I can't play him. It's like playing him in a rank is disgusting. It's a troll. Fair it's enough. A troll pick. Akali, man. Akali, okay. Oh, Aatrox. Man, man, that was fast. They heard us talking about Aatrox. They knew what Aatrox. they wanted, man. They, they heard us talking about Aatrox. Which leads into the first picks. Very first goes to RPI. It's really going to be like a... Oh, Udi, what? Isn't Udi your great right now? Not the best. He definitely got nerfed pretty hard. Yeah, but you got buff top lane. Wild Claw stance hits way harder. <laughs> like, no. Base Studier is better. <laughs> no, Base Studier is E. <laughs> that, like, Phase that, Rush E. Uder. That shit's garbage. What do you mean? Yo, you do that once and it's garbage. Build Chem Tank, take Ghost. You just yeah. want to play Old Udyr. No, I used to build a uh, Sunfire and all the year. Oh, really? Yeah. I heard a lot of people build a uh, camp tank. I'm just different. Or, oh. or Triforce. I build a lot of Triforce. This man wants to be unique. Look at this, some bitch. What do you mean? This was that much better. Miss Far that makes sense. Uh, Bar uh, Varsity Baron Varsity's um, ADC. ADC is, like, he likes his fortune. And he's good with her. I mean, he really loves Samira, but... That's true. I'm actually surprised we'd see the lock at Trundle. Samira's not really team play. It's like if you solo like you. That's fair. A Trundle lock in. Okay, so most likely both the junglers are already on the field. Mm -hmm. A whole lot of Freljord already. Oh, never mind. Oh! Ash ADC? Maybe. Maybe Ash support. Maybe RPI is going for a themed team. No, Jim. Be... Oh! Yeah, Jin, okay. I guess Interesting. Jin. Maybe that's a jingle. There's no way they're playing jingle. <laughs> For the uninitiated, Jin jungle. It's bad. It's Jared bad. swears by it for some reason. It's not good at all. His clear is dog shit. It is doo doo ass. <laughs> oh we are pissed. <laughs> 
Who is that? Oh, that's that's, that's Reese. Uh, that's Jared. Yeah, that's Reese. That's Reese. Uh, we have yeah, we have um. Yeah, team four. We have four teams uh, descending in rank. All you have to do to all you have to do to join the team, Dom, is come to Perry, talk to some people. But Team Four also has gold players on it. That's true. Um, but still, like to meet people to play with. Um, yeah. And there's plenty. Even if you don't uh, come inside, there's posters with the Discord and everything that you can find um, to actually get talking with some folks. Galio. Uh, Galio and Yon. mid, bro. Unless that's Yo on top. There's no way that's Yone top. Why do you say that? I've never seen Max play Yone. Oh, that's fair. That's <laughs> fair. I'm very interested to see Galio support, though. You don't see a lot of Galio, I feel like. I don't think that's... I think that might be Galio mid. Based? But yeah, Don, all you gotta do is you gotta, you gotta come. You gotta come to Perry, meet some folks, be uh, scan into the Discord, and then you're pretty much in the game. Yeah, and just talk in the chat. Like, we had tryouts, yeah, so it might be a little hard for you to find a play now, but, like, Next it's semester, not... semester, it's definitely viable. Absolutely. Especially if you make your presence known, like, now. And exactly. And get better. Yeah, no problem. It's great to hear that people are that interested. It reminded me of Alvaro, because he said mate. Yeah, yeah. Um, and let's see. Support, we've got Jana and Soraka. Band. Band, I meant. Mordecai's are banned. Mord too. and Leona. A lot of supports. Ah. Plot twist. The Trundle's the support, you fool. I'm lying. Well, they're probably thinking that their support is probably not on the field yet. So. Karma. Seems like that was a safe call. Ooh, and Riven then top. the Riven Hover. That is an Eater Jungle. Well, that was a Riven Jungle. <laughs> Which I definitely don't think it Yeah, no. Nah. We're in the game time now. There's no more memeing. Olaf. Ooh. You set what? Set, set, Bro, set, just set, set, for set. It. I don't care. Set's cool. Set is cool. But that means he would stat check most of our team. That, I, that's, that's true. <laughs> we, don't, we don't want that, do we? I don't know, man. I see a raging bisexual. I get excited. <laughs> yeah, raging penis inspectors. <laughs> You're mad. <laughs> Game is even started yet. Just, they're mad. Tiny wieners, bro. <laughs> okay, I don't know how much more of that we can do. Probably not much. Not a whole it's lot. You probably you're already pushing it. I'm, I'm definitely already pushing it. And then a Lux. Lux the, the Lux and the Galio were kind of a flex pick. Either could go mid or support. I definitely think it's a Galio mid though. That'd be fair. That probably goes better in a Yon than Lux. He's definitely not gonna build over for us. If he builds Everfrost, Galio mid, that's like kind of troll. And then Tom Kench top. Bro, that's, Max loves Kench. He does. I mean, it's elongation, bro. He was half the inspiration behind Calm. Dude, it's like... We have him to thank for this. He's so beautiful. He's like, so have, handsome and have smart. Have you seen his curly locks, bro? I have curly locks too, but my shit's so greasy. Oh. <laughs> I do a bunch of running around for uh, Liz. Uh, she was doing a D and D R A event today, so I helped her move around tables and stuff. How's it go? I'm gonna. It looks like she she got a good chunk of people. I'm gonna get such a nice shower when we're done here. Once I'm away from all the league players, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a bath. I feel that, bro. I haven't taken a bath in so long, dude. I miss baths. I don't like baths. Why not? I'm a, well, I'm like. I'm like a bat, a, a bath shower, a shaft, or a bower. A shaft? So a bower. So basically, you like have the water level high enough where like it constantly goes down, right? Uh huh. But like you have the shower keep filling up the tub, so that it's like at the perfect equilibrium. So it's always cycling new water. Equi you used equilibrium while talking about a bower. Yeah. So it's like using the perfect amount of water because it's always refilling the tub no matter what, right? That's fair. So like it cycles out the old gross water, and then I just like stand up, like clean myself, and then I lay down. Life hacks with Andy Sit. And then I get like waterboarded because the faucet's like right in my face. Waterboarding at Guantanamo. Guantanamo. Guantanamo Bay. Guantanamo Bay sounds way more fun when you don't know what either of those words mean. Guantanamo Bay sounds like a water park. It does, exactly. <laughs> it sounds like you're gonna go like like those little like waterboards. At some theme park. 
from what I remember last time, the Tom Ken vs. Set matchup was the That was thing. pretty set. I mean, that was pretty Tom signed. <laughs> but to be fair, when it was our uh, when it was a Baron player on set, the set did fight hard. He never went down, but it definitely ended up on Tom's side because Tom just had so many. Tom just gets a lot of cheats, I feel like. Oh, yeah, definitely. Tom is super annoying because... Oh, Steven like... busting out the karma. Ooh, we saw that earlier. I know, but, like, I like Steven. He's my boy. <laughs> He's been getting into keyboards a lot, you know? <laughs> like, I'm already... Oh, I already ordered my second one, and I'm... Like... You already built, like, two in the hall. Yeah. That's what you were doing last week at was, this time. That was my third built keyboard. Nice. Um, And, yeah, you're right. That Galio is made, it looks like. Yeah. I'm, I don't think he's gonna build Everfrost. I think I think he's literally just gonna build tank. The Everfrost might be nice to lock down Yon though, and they don't have a lot of AP. Just Lux. Yeah, but it's just like Galio does not have that much AP scaling. He's just, he's got a good chunk, but it's just like not as like lethal as like most AP champs. Yeah, that's true. Huh. Like with Cho'Gath, right? It's like understandable why you would go AP Cho'Gath. Right. Well, like Even with Galio. Garbage. What do you mean? It's so good. Dude, he's so slow and his only in is the most telegraphed thing in the world. Bro, I go like AP Cho'Gungle. Chungle. Chungle. I hate you so much. AP Chungle, you know what I'm saying? AP Chungle. I go AP Jungle, then AP Chungle, then die to crooks. No, actually, I've never died to Krugs. I just eat them first. That's fair. We do need some kind of Comp Tenchi mode. Don't kid yourself, Andy. You play League. You've done neither. What? Shower or take a bath. What the? Reese, you're a League player, too. Reese has been playing for, like, less time than I have. Because I've, I've played Norms for, like, a good seven months. Mm-hmm. And then he's like silver three, and I'm like silver four. Okay, Don, maybe you shouldn't come because Timo Top is heresy, and I hate you. Yeah, maybe I'll like escort you out of parry forcefully. <laughs> Shut you 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 play Kane. Shut up. I don't even want her. <laughs> I play like well, actually, Kane build is like weird now. So like, usually you would build like Gordrick her, right? Yeah. Now I build like Eclipse or like. I think that's why they're nerfing Eclipse is because everybody just says, what, what what mythic do you build? I don't know, Eclipse. Eclipse. I mean, Eclipse is so good for dueling. <laughs> you got Lethality, you got some Lifesteal, you got some extra HP. Have you ever seen Duskblade, though? That's just like pure AD. Oh, yeah, that's just a knife. Yeah, it's just like you're stabbing people. I, I, like love, I, I, I love, I love like, Pike's build path, dude. Pike and Zed's build path is so funny because it's just a bunch of knives. Yeah. It's just a bunch of different magic knives and then a gun sometimes. Sometimes it's, sometimes you toss a collector in there. Or Zed. That's, that's what I said. No. I said Pike or Zed. No. I wish we had the replay function. Oh, yeah, no, you bet, you bet you. <laughs> Yeah, you, you bet know. you wish you could prove me wrong. Okay. No, I meant to say Kazakhs, yeah. Oh. This is the dumbest thing it's ever been. So, yeah, we've seen how the Tom, how the, uh, the, why, why are, why, why are the, why are the character names on the right caps, but on the left they're like normal? Or just better. <laughs> We've earned the the extra capital letters. Yeah, it's it's like a Tony Hawk game where you have to do like a combo, gathering all the letters of skate, and then you just like destroy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 dude. I love I love Tony Hawk Underground too. What's on the outside of Sumner Rift? Uh, it looks like Sumner Rift is like on a cliff. What's uh, that blue thing? It, it's like energy. I don't know. It's magic. I don't. I don't it's know. nut. Uh. Smurf nut. We're gonna look over the side of the map now, just cause you're a dumbass. Do it. Oh, Actually, I think I'm, it's just dark. I'm pretty sure it's just like forest. Yeah. Like, cause there's like deers and stuff. Oh dear. Or should I say, ooh dear? Oh, he said the joke. <laughs> he missed the joke and then he found it. No, oh, I did not. I never missed Wait. the joke. What is this? It's a bust. It's a broken lock, Andy. Someone put something in there because why not? Hey. 
<laughs> AP chode. Exactly. He knows what I'm talking about. Alright, what the hell is over? Yeah, it's like a cliff. Actually, what runes? Oh, he's going AP Galia. He built our base, 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 base. Oh my god, he built dark fucking. I mean, I mean, we're still all right. There it is. Um, we're still obviously gonna be biased towards Baron, but I love to see actual interesting builds and stuff from everybody. That's like when I went fucking. Oh, oh, I used it. There it is. It's like when I went. It's. I know it's hard. So an AP Udyr. And Yo, I would just feel like Leandries. Someone's you know. actually using Mecha Kingdom set. I love that skin. Have you seen uh, AP Udyr with Leandries and Cosmic Thread? Yeah, I have. It's really funny, actually. It's disgusting. Also, you just, it's been. You just run into people and press R and they die. Little Rabadons, uh, uh, Sork Shoes. I almost did it again. Yeah, you did. Controls and My ears not popping. Area. Very interested to see how this goes. Silverwood's trying to award behind Drag Pit. The allegation's going deep. <laughs> he really is. I mean, he got the award down. I mean, that's his whole job, you know? <laughs> I cannot. Okay, so I like Dragon Oracle more than most people. Um, Ice Dragon Oracle looks like. He looks like some kind of penguin. It looks like you made his costume at Toys R Us. It looks like it looks like they're definitely not costume, but trying to take itself seriously. Exactly. Is that what you're saying? It's like definitely. instead of him just being a muppet. It's like definitely not. He's definitely. Not. <laughs> Guys, this is definitely Udyr. Oh, I God, promise. This is this is Udyr. Wow, that that dancing grenade really went for misfortune there. Ooh, Ooh got it. Got that level two lead. Gonna make it hurt for Galio. So do you get that lead, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You're small, you know. I always start small. And I always add he's, small. He's just, oh. I was gonna say. I always also. I just progress small. <laughs> I just progress small. Okay. It's not about the size of the ship, it's about the motion of the ocean. <laughs> wow, I just dust over 700 pounds. I got like. Can we stop? I got like a tsunami. You know Can we stop? <laughs> I hate everything right now. Can mean? somebody do something cool? Like, just take my mind off. Nice face breaker from it. Yeah. Nice quick trade. Get what you can. Wow. He actually doesn't have, um, knuckle down. He he just has a face breaker and, uh. I mean, that's how you trade it. early. Yeah. Ooh, but oh. here comes the Oh, Lumis. hi, John. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, he got the. Ooh. Oh, flash, flash. That was. Oh, Ooh. my God. Well, first off, this very nice positioning by Midtow. Uh, yeah. Managed to land the stun portion where if you face breaker, then meets on both sides, it stuns, stuns, slows. Very well done. Um, sorry, my, my, uh, my, ooh, watch. wow. Nice stun there. Ooh, for, for the flash, still the ignite finishes the silver word off, so it's still pretty even for both teams. I know um, Steven's molding right now. <laughs> a monitor's on the floor as we speak. Oh, there's all that. Yeah, cleanse just to be safe. Tiny did take a tower shot though. Probably is not having fun. Not particularly. Mid is definitely having fun. Yeah, but but yeah, back with what happened there. Nice done with the face breaker. Missy, uh, I'm 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 flaming him later. <laughs> he flashed, but the flash by the flash Q oh, by sorry. Loomis. Wow, he still took a nice chunk of damage there from that tower shot. Yeah. The flash, uh, the flash bite by Loomis means that the Tom Q did just nothing. Oh my gosh. And J JQC just going in on Loomis' jungle. Udyr's great early, but like few people can beat Trundle in just not a fight early. But hey, yeah. he did it. He had the flash, but wow, this is a fight now. So the, oh, the entirety he of Bali. Is, oh yeah, absolutely. Ooh, flashes out of way of the Galio stun. Oh, and Galio manages to finish him off, but that's a kill for Cheese. Oh, oh no, my flashes over the wall. Oh, he might actually be able to get this. Got, he's got it. Oh, there's the stun. Oh, oh man, and that's no. another kill for Udyr, and Pizza's on the way. And so we can't even do anything. Oh, that's so... Yeah, because he's Karma. <laughs> I see why they ban Leona now. Yeah. That's so unfortunate for Bam. 
Oh, but Swifty knows. Oh, and oh. there's a shutdown. 450 shut gold down. for Swifty. Oh my gosh, Midtown doing some serious damage. Almost, almost pop elongation under tower. So we can, ooh, but the heal elongation. People forget that Tom's Q heals him it's for so his gross. missing health. Oh yeah, and gets that extra, gets that extra heal when the Q comes back in the stun. Elongation like pulled that fight back from Jesus the Jesus is gonna be freezing wave this whole game. I mean, that's what you got to do. I mean, yeah, Botley's not going to be any fun to watch, I'm just saying. Uh, here comes Loomis, though. That's slow. Oh, oh nice emote. Is he going to Iceberg? Is he going to Iceberg? Oh, he does it. <laughs> I, I, oh, wait. Tiny, you, Cheese, you get that, right? Oh, okay. Oh, Loomis had to save him because that fourth shot was coming. And Cheese did not get that? I would have... I would have flamed them so hard after this game. Not gonna lie, I love the visual of Trundle chasing somebody and then having to turn around an ice pillar. I love how the least scaling character on blue side is getting all the kills. And he's building a mage eyes. Ouch. Wow! That's some balls. Dude, he's got, they're, they're looking for AP. Ooh, though. elongation has. Oh no. Gets face breakered and here oh, it comes up. He's oh, gonna yeah. chase him under tower. Oh, that ult's not enough. He gets Galio. Yeah, you thought too. Galio. Shut up, nerd. That's <laughs> 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 something like a. Uh, Jeremy just has to get out. He's gonna die He's here. gotta get out. There's the ignite. Oh, in the fourth shot. Pizza, stop emoting. Stop being a dickhead. There's something called uh, integrity, and you don't have to. <laughs> I didn't take it. Flashbacks me to last year where there was that Alawi that just split pushed and then emote spammed at the end of the game. That reminds me whenever Mason flash mash three seven after getting a two peppers in one game. Oh, I mean, okay, that feels a little warranted. Two pentas. That's wow. PM, though. Yone damage, by the way. Yeah. If that champion gets on you, uh. Hey, that's what happens when you buy Dark Seal and Galio. You just start trolling. <laughs> wow, a Mage Eyes and a Dark Seal on uh, RPI. That's a little wild. You know, the Penis Inspector's kind of trash. <laughs> Ooh, wait, Elongation. Oh, just misses the knock up there with that Abyssal Journey. Swifty doesn't quite land the, the Q3. Oh, wow. Kellyo gets that cannon and just books it. That's really all he needs to do. He's losing Seattle. Mm. What that, was that? That, that Dancing Grenade... That Dancing? Uh, dancing Grenade did so much damage. Cheese managed to do a whole lot of damage to uh, Pizza, but not enough to finish anything off. That one is not having That was... Fun. The Dancing Grenade killed two minions, hit Cheese, and then bounced on the Silver Word. That's that did so much damage. Kind of busted. A little bit. The right. Dancing Grenade is fickle. The only is probably going to back soon. Um, probably. Uh, he doesn't know, but he doesn't really have anything to worry about because uh, JQC is currently in Baron's um, top or bot jungle. Nice backstop. Yeah, it's a waste of time. Do whatever you can. Meanwhile, it looks like uh, RPI is moving for the dragon. If Baron knows that, they might switch and try. Yeah, it looks like they're just gonna uh, go for the Baron or not Baron. Uh, the Rift Baron. Baron. <laughs> Crossed wires, man. Glad. That has just been a hard day. Yeah, it hasn't even been like hard. It's just been like long. It feels like. Yeah. Garmin. She said, by the way. Trying to. Like, <laughs> <ugh>. <laughs> You're killing me. <laughs> you are. You are rapidly decreasing. You are physically suffocating. <laughs> <laughs> your your lack of humor is causing me physical damage. I am always humorous. That doesn't make it good. I am also the most humble person alive. <laughs> like, I love that somebody telling you that they're humble is all you need to know. I'm so humble, for real. It's the Q3. Ooh, the uh, spirit walk. Ooh, that was nice timing. As soon as that Galio knockup was about to hit, just go back to your body. He just knows what to do. It's just the wow! Oh, the speed so from elongation. Straight into Loomis. Loomis. Oh my! Oh my. oh my God! Mid, mid row or mid toe, trying to use Loomis as a way out. Got some extra distance. Flashes over the wall, but again, Loomis and Elongation do just enough damage. Bro. Oh, there's the brute. There's some. John's tears. just that that that, car bro. that that Karma Shield actually managed to stop a lot of damage. Oh, this there. is top tower. Yeah, minutes. it is.
less than. Oh, but here comes Udyr for his power really dive. Bad. Oh, oh they, yep, so there's the Lux and Jesus is going to get burnt down. That's a double kill for Tiny. And let's be honest, if I was uh, Trumbo right now, I would not be helping bot lane. For the fight, it's a nah, losing you, I, No, it, it makes sense why uh, uh, Loomis is spending so much time top. Um, Elongation is killing it, so you want to keep feeding that. Again, fantastic uh, back timing by Swifty there. If it was better, like, I would have just dodged the tower shot, but, like... I know everyone can't be as good as me, so it's like understandable. I I want like a. Have you ever seen like Street Fighter Third Strike? I have not. Okay, well if you tap forward instead of tap, it's a Street Fighter, so you hold back the block. If you tap yeah. forward instead, you parry the move, and it plays this really satisfying like clash noise. Yeah. I just have the visual of like you on Kane or something, and Kane just <laughs> like says no to the I tower think. shot. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah, not really much. He's gonna you can do to... Uh, that's that's so be um. The fact that you can just take a tower shot and you're comfortable with it. <laughs> I mean, you're that far ahead. I mean, he's not really that far ahead. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Actually, Cheese isn't doing too bad for how bad he's, like, he is in kills right now. He's yeah, no, up even CS. Cheese is very good when it comes to, like, staunching the flow. Like, he's he knows what he has to do. He has fantastic wave management. He's, he's forcing as much out of RPI as he can right now. And this is unfortunate because Udyr's lived bot this game. Just yeah. like Loomis has lived I mean, his top. I mean, that's kind of like what he has to do. Though. Yeah, no, that's their win condition. That's fine. What are you doing in here? <laughs> he's stealing. He's dead! Oh, he's stealing. <laughs> oh, no. Look at this. Oh, again. no. Here comes JQC. The face breaker missed, and there's the stun. If if Gilo Gage wants to get out, now's the time. Oh no, the showstopper. Oh. And oh, there's the Galio. The... Oh no. my gosh, he gets JQC's flash. He's still alive! And there's the shutdown the for Udyr. Eight stacks on Mage Eyes. He is going in. That's yeah. terrifying. He's probably just building Mage Eyes and then is going straight into. Uh... Sunfire. That's my guess. He's probably gonna ignore, actually he might build demonic every year, but I doubt it. I mean Bombies is a part of demonic. Is it? Mm-mm. No, it's not. I thought you said it is. No, like, it's wait, not. No. So so he's probably he's building either Frostfire or Sunfire. I think he's Sunfire. Probably. I would well, never unless build, he wants to triple down on the I would ice. never build Frostfire. Unless he here. wants to triple down on the ice theme, you know? I mean I guess. Duo's getting better at counter countering these little uh, trades by Swifty. I think it's both hot jobs, dude. That was that. I'm mean, yeah. so coming off a of cold. You want one? Yeah. What's up with it? Strawberry cream. That's just really nice. Coming off of a cold, so my throat's still kind of weird. Mm -hmm. Lumis, this is a dangerous fight to take. Oh, not there's the, there's comes the Jinru. In. Yeah, not if I comes in. Uh, and here comes Swift. He does have that. Ult. Oh, 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 there it is! Ooh. Like big one immediately into the bullet time, but oh, they're so tanky. The ignite. Oh, Pizza managed to get Swifty. Oh, oh no. and JQC gets um. The team's just way too tanky. Win. That's the unfortunate thing. They've got so much beef. It just sucks that the team is just naturally tanky, so they can do whatever they want. You're right. Like almost all the characters on uh, like three of the uh, five characters on uh, red side is just like good. yeah, they need a scale. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, but like, they can't do when, that. When Elon Gage, okay, when the top laner is joining the fight, I feel like it's definitely going to be a bit more barren sided, just because of like, Tom gives so much disruption. Yeah, plus he's just huge because he builds crossfire. Exactly. A lot of Baron's tankiness is in Tom right now. He's just bullying the set for real. Oh yeah. No, he, he takes the face breaker. Is that really designable a lot? I don't know if they can- He's going to spit him into the tower. I would say, I don't know if the consume is necessary. Oh, there's the show stop. trying to get a little- Oh, oh, he did have Gore Drinker. This is a big fight. Get the true damage. There's the stun. I think Tom wins. Tom, Tom wins, wins the... Oh, he he got just Tom barely. Wow. Man, if Midtown actually had Ignite up, I think he would have won that. Yeah. Very well fought by both by both players. I think uh, one of them might He's start going... He was 0-3 during that, and it was that close. That's insane. Yeah. I mean, that's so a stat checker. Let's be, like, let's be real. Plus, he has Gore Drinker. I mean, that's true. He does have his... Other... But hey, now, uh, now, now, uh, Elongation does too. Ooh, cheese gets Tibbet at a bit of a weak moment there, forces him to pop Gale Force. Ooh, I feel and now like cheese with a flash that he might have got. He's got to get out of there. Udyr's on the way. Oh no! My flash here. 
Oh, the, that was a fantastically timed cleanse. And here comes with the t uh, elongation, the rest of Baron are on the way down to get this shutdown. Oh, oh, there's the abyssal back. Oh, Loomis gets the shutdown on JQC. Trying to get in there. It's, it's a serious CC bear, but without Ooh, dear, that's a lot of their damage gone. Ooh, flashing the Yone all, and there's the bullet time. Doesn't get a whole lot off that either. Elongation taking tower. So much gray health. He's gonna yoink all that back. Honestly, all that I'd say is worth. How much gold was that? Definitely. Okay, it wasn't a huge shutdown, but it's about taking away those Magi stacks. Yeah, and you get a stacks back down for. And you get a dragon. It's like oh, oh my, oh man. Oh dude, if he got that. Almost. Dude, he him. Yeah. I don't even know if he knows. Um, Yali is right there. Why are you emoting? Stop being a prick. <laughs> it's this is annoying me. Again, this is a small penis, like. Okay. <laughs> Enough. I don't know, man. I gotta. What's the this? Hero's entrance, curtain call, final spark. Um, just not fair. He just has awaken abilities. Yeah. Fate sealed. That's what um, that's what Yonis is called. I love the uh, the eternal for stealing life and stuff on Subjugate is called taxation. Well. Because he's the king of trolls. He's taxing you. <laughs> Okay, um, looks like RPI is gonna try and go into this Baron here. Not very contested. Mean looks like Damn it. Yes, I mean Harold. Imagine. You had to take it out because it was bothering the casting, wasn't it? You know, it wasn't messing with me actually. <laughs> with Swifty, a bit of a switch from top and mid. Swifty, very. Ooh, nice knockout. Does it actually go in though? Oh, there's the uh, the body move. I mean, this gives but an ability. This gives a way for Swifty to actually get. Ooh, and here's JC. Fed. It does. But he's gotta be careful. Because he can't fight Galio right now, like. Uh... Oh, Loomis and Elongation going in on Galio. Who actually went Night Harvester. He actually ate Loomis. Wow, to he get ate out Loomis to Luxol. save him from the final spark. Very well done. Ooh, nice dashing out of body, using that extra move speed to stall for as long as he can. Oh my gosh! He almost managed to 2v1 that, that with Baron. Been that was nuts. Hey, Harold? <laughs> yes! Oh my gosh, I hate my brain. Yes, I mean Harold. Pure damage wise, I think Jeremy still does beat Jin here. In extended trades, yes. Uh, not not extended. In little, if you can quickly burst him when he doesn't have fourth shot. Yeah, that's like Mr. all Mr. of that. Pe true, all of his power is put in that fourth shot though. Like, okay. slight gold lead um, from RPI here. Baron is still absolutely in this. They've just got to play a bit proactively. The Baron to Barons. Balloons. Man, thanks for that, uh, that assist earlier. Is he building Frozen Heart? Who? Udyr. He's got a Warden's yeah, Udyr mail. can build Frozen Heart. Okay. Interesting. The only character I've ever really seen that on is, like, Nasus. No, like, a bunch of tanks, like, a bunch of, uh... Since Udyr's, like, a frontline tank, he's a fighter tank. Mm-hmm. Well, not a tank, he's, like, a tank He's a fighter. bruiser. Yeah, so, so he can build Frozen Heart. I mean, yeah, slowing down enemy autos makes and, sense, like, especially against, like... Anyway, their team also has, like... They've got... We've got four auto attacks. And also if you eight. count, if you count top. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I think JQC actually smited that um, blue buff before Loomis could get it. I think so too. Yeah, he did. That's kind of... Oh no, Jeremy, you gotta get out of there, man. <laughs> Stop. Okay, he actually does get out this time, it looks like. I can hear Victor yelling about 200 years. Yeah. That's kind of his thing. Yeah, no, you're kidding me. I think they... I think... Swifty went back mid because he knew he was just gonna be a perma game. Yeah. Tower down isn't ideal. Cause like Tom can escape. It's hard for Swifty to. Oh escape. yeah, no. Tom, Tom can get away. Oh, JQC really wants cheese here. Flashes even. There's the Gale Force from Jin, but it looks like this might be punishment. Oh, Faint Seal barely misses. There's the uh, the Ice Pillar, the root from Silverwood. They want to shut him I think down. He actually dies here. He does not. No. 
Oh my gosh, Loomis is cute. There's so much damage. There's an ignite on the pizza pie. Ooh. Loomis gets that shut down. Big shield. G oh my gosh, an Elon Gage yeah, manages to save Loomis. He does get rooted, but that shield's gonna save his life. Swifty's going in, trying to burst down JQC. Dodges the uh, dodges the hero's entrance. Here comes the abyssal journey. Knocks uh, knocks Galio up. Oh, this one Loomis is even. Swifty, come on, kill him. Oh, He's one so HP. Swifty flash cues. It's not enough. There's the showstopper. He's oh, barely no. the shield. Tiny gets the kill, and Galio gets one too. It's oh man, so cheese is trying to walk back to the fight, but Udir is in the jungle. Oh, Haymaker almost takes it. There's Udir, he's pretty low, but he's oh, there's the abyssal journey that might be the moment they need. There's Curtis the Call, gets Tiny. Oh, Elongation trying to land that. He just key. heals off of Raptors. Oh my gosh, I feel like if uh. He's got 14 Magi stacks. He has the move speed buff. I feel like a cheese save. Okay, actually, yeah. come on, dude. And that's another kill for Tiny. This is definitely not good. This is, this is best out of three, right? Yes, yes, yes. I think. I'm not sure. 16 stacks on that Magi. Oh boy. Not good. Not great. Shit. Here's where we're gonna spend this time doing. Don't throw back cough drops. <laughs> I am the best person ever, and I am the most humble, Andy. Xander, I'm gonna eat as many cough drops as I want, man. Are you chewing it? Yeah, I hey, broke. So I might as well. That's not what you do with cough drops. Well, let me live, man. Let me live my life. I'll let you live yours. Probably gonna go to Walmart tonight. Yeah, nice. Just to buy more cough drops. <sighs> Just found them. <laughs> I was gonna say a little bit of calm before the storm. Big ass storm, alright. Yeah, with that 6k gold lead on RPI, Baron's gonna have to play this very smart. Yeah, that 8 and 1 gym. Uh, He's doing damage, shockingly. Oh, it's world, it's world Baron. It's world Baron again, that's cute. He's got the crown. Yeah. <laughs> He doesn't win this fight. Yeah, no, he definitely doesn't, especially not the frozen. That arc still does a lot of damage. It does. Uh, that would be the 16 Magi stack that help with that. And, uh, Trundle has frozen, uh, Horse of Nature. Actually, yeah, going going with that uh, magic is a very good call. But even then, they just still do a lot of damage. They still, still do good chunk damage. Wow, they were going for an early Baron here. It's just Pizza and, and JQC. If they see this, they might be able to engage on him. I was about to say, if uh, Trundle had flash here, he could definitely flash you. Oh, definitely. Does he know? Okay, now they definitely know that ward. Yeah, they definitely Here comes the rest of RPI to challenge him. Elon Gish, he has, he almost has unleashed teleport, but he's caught bot right now. He's making his way up to Dvara. It looks like this might be a fight brewing. Oh, the ignite onto G is forced to cleanse. Yeah, there's the bullet time. Ooh, not quite mid out going in on Swifty. There's the hero's entrance. Elongation still trudging back from mid lane. This is a really bad team fight if they decide to take it. They yeah, won't, but... yeah, definitely not. Swifty, oh, there's Fate time. Seal just for safety's sake. Getting out makes sense. Elongation is on his way though. He might try and dive the back line. No, he's going. Oh, nice knock up. And he eats Illumis to save him. Oh, gets dropped right into his team. That's a huge heal for mid out and a huge. Huge gin ult for Tiny. That's a, That's a ace. massive ace. Yeah. As much as I love my team, that was pretty nice. That was, that was quick. Can't count that out yet. Absolutely not. Kinda sucks. I mean, he just picked up the guy that built the most max HP and delivered him directly into the rest of the team. Yeah, and deleted most of the health. He turned Tom Kench into an ICBM. Pretty much. Yeah, I've definitely heard of people just like perma banning their gear. Ludir is 
isn't that bad to go even go against? Now, nah, but a good deer. You don't fight those. I am those. <laughs> I built different. Yo, it's the jingle. It's the jingle. I promise. Oh my god. This gold difference is also insane. Yeah. 12k gold. Yeah. After this game, I'm probably gonna research some uh, switches to put on my new keyboard. Oh no. Karma oh. Ma Silver managed to barely live there. Like stuff. Oh wow! I I fully expected JQC to flash onto that. I'll be honest. We've seen him do great here. Nice. So my ball out and just buy like a hundred dollar switches. Sure, man. <laughs> Dude, I'm obsessed. Flame Silverwood. I might finally get a credit card tomorrow. I'm excited. I've had it since I was like. 14? 15 maybe? <laughs> oh, shut up. Uh, the, the Devour on either, on, um... Udi, you're trying to get something here. Ooh! Ooh geez, gets the shutdown, that shutdown that though, Udyr. but he, he gets bursted by Tiny. Out. Misses, like, all the other shots on his curtain call, though. Hey, do you know what sucks? Look at, look at Udi's, uh, nature stack still. Still has 17. How? I thought he lost 10 on death and the max is 25. I'm not sure, How on God's green does he still like? Did he build the the, the hidden seven, 27 Mechai stacks on the world? Maybe. Looks like a rush for a bounty. Uh, you tab. Uh, yes. I mean, I mean that's what that is. Oh. I was gonna see how many breaks I've been taking. Uh, looks like here. this is no, this is not soul. No, but it will get our PI to soul point. They do definitely. Team Red does definitely not. Definitely does not want them to have a Drake Soul. No, but. That would be devastating. It was a nice um, cash influx for um, Misfortune. But for me, at least, you've got to. The, the thing you're wondering now is what can you do different next game? Yeah. Like. I'm probably going to target ban some of these. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm guessing no Udi or no Jin. Yeah. Even the Lux, maybe. I don't think the Lux was the issue. I mean, Lux bursted most of the health down just so Jin can get kills. That's true. Well, you gotta admit, like, she's very strong in the early game just for that. Oh, yeah. You know, Lux, Lux damage is friggin' ludicrous. How much damage is that Night Harvester done? I'm curious. Not bad. Not bad. I hate Galio. <laughs> What's wrong with Galio? He just built suck. a funny hat, bro. They just suck for real. He built like, a funny hat. They just suck, though. Like... He's got max 1v1s this. Never mind. Wow. Well, we have two Warden's Mails on Baron's side right now. I wonder if we're going to get two Frozen Hearts. Never. I don't even know what other item... Uh, if I were Gargoyle I... Stone Plate also used. Yeah, I was about to say, I would go with Gargoyle as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, my gosh. Like a... Actually, but with that... um. Galio might get cut out, dashes away. Did they kill all the good set? Probably worth like around the gold of a minion. <laughs> nah, you got a gold reset. Yeah, okay. This is oh my gosh, and Baron, ha it has to go back because uh, Udyr's just trying to end the game. You can't, this is a frog. This is a frog? Yeah. See, if Loomis gets like full build here, it's over. For the sole fact that he'll just tank every single one of them. That's, that's, that's true. That is just, just trundle things. And then he'll probably latch onto like meteor tank. He will. He will right click on Jin and it's the kill. <laughs> exactly. Or he'll probably like R on meteor and then like just tank their whole team. Mhm. Mm Focus. See what he buys. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, these are two frozen hearts because they both have the glacial buckler. I honestly think Gargoyle or Stone play would be better here. At least on one of them, I'd agree with that. I think for... I'd agree with that on Trundle. On Trundle, it's definitely a lot better. Just so, like, if you're about to lose a fight, just boom. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I would go, like, into Gargoyles, into, uh... Oh, my God, what's the item called? Spirit Visage. I mean, uh, Tom already has Spirit Visage. I'm talking oh, about for... Oh, I mean, like... Oh! Ah! The boost for Gargoyle Stone Plate, like, the shield would just be amazing. That's true. 
it's getting ballsy. Wow, uh, the Jin W barely misses there. That could have been very bad for Loomis. Indeed. Baron finds himself in a pretty precarious spot. Swifty did back to get his HP back, and he's on the way back to the fight. Looks like they're just going to be clearing to... Uh, Baron games. is up, and it looks like RPI is going to take it. And they're not going to have any trouble with it. Yeah. No. Who are we expecting to be maxed out for this game? Uh, I figured we were going to just go through the series and see who else is still going. Uh, oh my god. I'm tired. Oh, thank you, Xander. That makes sense. Um, The reason that Udyr had 17 stacks, he got two assists after he died. Oh, okay. To give them back. That make, That's right. That makes sense. I think your chat needs to go down. No, no, that's no, that's as far down as it is. Oh, really? No, I know that's much as messy with me too. That was what I say. I was like, I thought that was the top of like. I, I thought that was the type, the top of Reese's username. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Udyr's running martyrdom. That's crazy. Oh my god. Are they doing good though? That's relevant, actually. Really? Modern Warfare 2 is coming out. Oh yeah. I look. Oh, jeez. Big fight. He's at. It's a nice final spark and elongation. Has to pop that shield. Swifty does get a nice fate seal onto Jason. And Eris. Loomis. Like, that's insane to me that he just doesn't deal enough damage. And that looks like it's just gonna be game. Well, oh, midtown gets on top to stop that bullet time. So we're running out. Oh, Dude, tiny pop I'll elongation. Honest, whenever Jin bought that LDR, it's over. Yeah. LDR, yeah, LDR such a and Infinity Edge. Oh, my lord. Midtown's fighting tooth and nail to get back in this. There's the curtain call too. Oh my lord. Stop it, dude. Wow. Good That's game, game one. RPI. That draft was very th threw me off a lot. It did. And that was played fantastically. Alright. I guess we gotta wait for the next game. That would appear to be true. I'm gonna take a potty break. Okay. I'm gonna step out too real quick, folks. Uh, and take the time to go get a drink, get a snack, use the bathroom like Andy is, and we will be right back with you going into this next game.
Howdy, everybody. Apologize for the um, silence. We got a bit of a uh, caster swap here. Right now, we are joined by Miguel, who has joined us before. Good evening. And he's sitting this one out for now. He might be back, but we'll see. Um, so, yeah, going into this, man, Baron, very first pick on both sides for seeing ADC. Jeremy, cheese, lucking in his Kaisa, his main, actually. Um, an RPI hovering Draven. Draven is such a monster if he gets going. All I'm noticing is that RPI likes playing those big single shot damage ADCs between the, between Jin and Draven. Like that's the that's the recurring theme I'm noticing. Oh, we got a Hecarim. And Hecarim. Too. Oh boy. Hecarim is all about move speed. We hella ganker. we just want a one shot, folks. We want to kill people. Yeah. I am shell-shocked that Baron actually didn't even bother banning Udyr after what happened last game. I can't believe RPI didn't lock in Udyr again. Probably because they know, uh, probably because Baron's a little more ready for it now. That makes sense. That's uh, fair. Has a little more time to counter it before Udyr really gets going. Yeah, he did, he did almost fully stack a Magi's in that game. Wow. That's that's rough. Yeah, it was it was an interesting game, but I'm excited to see Baron swing back from this. Sejuani, okay, it's interesting because RPI actually did ban Sejuani last game, so now that, now that's went through. I'm I'm curious to see why they banned it. Yeah. I mean, they don't have. Um, I mean, it's not a, a Udir versus a Sejuani now. It's a Hecarim versus Sedge. That's rad as shit, what the hell? Thank you. Uh, I got a, the rules monster. Nice. Ooh, and there's Swifty again on Yon. I mean, he was doing work last game. I understand it. But if that's the only recurring pick, that's going to be really funny. <laughs> <laughs> the Ego Yone. Ooh, okay. We saw a Trundle on Baron's side last game, so the hover from RPI here is interesting. He definitely beats Sejuani in a straight fight, especially post six. But oh, Sejuani's top. I thought Sejuani was jungle. She is the jungle. So wait. Oh, that is a Trundle top. You're right. I was gonna say I thought Hecarim was doing jungle this round. No wait, You're absolutely right. Oh my gosh, I totally blanked. Um, next bands we see. Three support bands, Soraka, Janna, and Lux, take it off the table. If we see a fourth, that'd be really funny. I keep forgetting that Janna's a thing. Yeah. Like, every time I see Janna, I'm just like, oh, she's so, she exists. She's so cool. lame. Like, everything about her is just uber lame. Oh, they banned Galio. I mean, uh, RPI had a fantastic Galio showing last game. That's fair. So, but like, I Galio's so him. sweet. Big Aussie. Yes. Ooh. Ooh, there's LeBlanc mid lane. Mm, LeBlanc we we really want to just kill people this game. <laughs> yes. RPI just really wants to burst people down. Venting our frustrations, are we? They won last round. But... <gasps> okay, hey RPI, can you stop picking characters I like? Because, <laughs> like, I love Silas. So, seeing that Silas is going to be... That's going to be... Uh... I'm going to be a little conflicted. <laughs> His splash is so cool. Well, I mean, as casters, we're supposed to be impartial. Not necessarily, but no, you're right, you're right. We should be a little bit. A little bit impartial. We and we're think... allowed to be a little biased as a tree. Ooh. Oh, okay, yeah, no, that's how you shut down Trundle. You should go Jax. <laughs> I, I, Jax will be like one in five and still one-shot you. I don't get how this character works. But they made him sound like Duke Nukem in Legends of Runeterra, so I like him. <laughs> Ooh, and the Karma lock-in again by Baron. Interesting. It didn't yield a whole lot of fruit last game, but... Wild that of both of the two teams, Ooh, Baron yeah. is the one with the recurring picks. Yes. Ooh, Leona and Blitz. We have, we have an old, like, a classic bot lane on our PI side with either of these support picks. Yeah, Draven Blitzkrieg. We want to commit homicide, is yes, what I'm hearing. Indeed. Like, the only character in this whole lineup that isn't super fighty fight fight is, like, Sichuani. This karma's gotta work overtime to keep that guy so safe. Yeah. But, 
I'm not saying Jeremy doesn't know how to play Misfortune, who he played last game, but he definitely knows how to play um, Kaisa. Hell yeah. Okay, going into the. Actually, I'm just gonna keep moving through. Into the <laughs> tournament draft proper. So, this is gonna be interesting because I'm not an ADC guy. I don't know who wins when it comes to Kaisa Draven. But man, with with an enchanter support, all Blitz has to do is land one hook, and that lane's basically over. Yeah. Just because of how hard Draven is. Especially if you let him stack Adoration first. All that being said, he did say uh, Kaisa was Kaisa was his main. He yeah, Jer uh, Chief knows how to play Kaisa. I'm I'm excited to see it. You're scared. Now these aren't tryouts anymore. There's no love lost here. Everyone just gets to ball. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Jack's Trundle top is such an ass matchup just in general. There's like, there's a toxic aura being given off by that top lane. I would not be surprised if Sejuani and Hecarim just leave it alone. <laughs> I wouldn't want to go there. It's just two guys smacking each other with sticks for 20 minutes. Yep. One of them's biting the other and that guy's kind of magic. That's the only difference. Mm-hmm. Duke Nukem hits you with a lamp. What do you do? I keep forgetting his weapon is a, is a whole is a whole lamp post. Mm -hmm. They they made it like cool and lore important. It used to like literally be he just fought people with a lamp post to make it fair, because he's like the master. Um, that's kind of awesome. That's kind of based, though. That's kind of sick. Kinda um, basic. but I do like the current one where he's like that's what he tells people, but actually the um. The lantern in, like, the f the fire in the lantern has always been burning because it is the last light of Akathia. It is like, Akathia developed a type of fire that could harm the void before, like, they got fully consumed. And Jax has the last piece of oh, it. Oh, Akathia. I keep forgetting Akathia existed yeah. because it got devoured. You're gonna make Zaleen cry, bro. Zaleen. Zaleen. It... Have I told you how weird it is that Zillion gets a shout out in this book? Read Ruination, by the way. Very good novel. I am shell shocked by how many lead characters are in this. It's like obviously you've got like Thresh and Hecarim and Callista and Viego because like it's yeah, their book. Of course. I also didn't expect half the chapters to be from Thresh's perspective. Hmm. It's like why does why does Thresh want to kill people so hard? Oh, it's because. When he basically when he graduated his version of college, uh, instead of getting like the job he really wanted, he was told, "Hey, you're gonna work in basically the you're gonna work guarding the dungy underground mine where we hide the secret artifacts for a year, you know, to to give you some humility." Fifteen years later, he's still down there. Oh dear. So, uh, yeah, I, I think I would have some strong words. I would have some very powerful opinions on certain people and where they should throw themselves off of. Yeah. I, I think I'd have to agree with you there, Michael. Especially, like, dude, it's so rough. They, like, explicitly say that only, like, only the lower class people that are working there that the noble people like get windows. Other than that, it's like pure darkness. Except for like the lanterns that they have. Good lord, sensory deprivation go fur. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think I think I would I think I would also have some, some choice some choice words. The only thing keeping him sane is all the super cool, definitely not evil relics that he's stealing and reading about. Because hey, that is where all the cool shit is. I mean like if you if I'm trapped in if I'm trapped in an unending darkness for fifteen years surrounded by uh, cool, possibly evil relics. Like, I'm, I'm gonna take that chance. I'm probably gonna commit homicide when I get out, anyways. What if, what if the Library of Alexandria was 500 feet underground and on fire? Well, okay, that was a bad. <laughs> what if the Library of Alexandria was 500 feet underground and also magic? Who says the Library of Alexandria wasn't magic? Da da, da da. <laughs> it's gone now, so we'll never know. I'm sad. Yeah, me too. <laughs>
Shouldn't have talked about the library of Alexandria. It always <laughs> makes me sad. Bro, they had the steam engine. That's wild. They did. They had a steam engine, like, what, 500 years? 500 years before? Yeah, you're right. I just opened up oh. a random page in this book. Rise is in this? I gotta stop doing that. How the hell is Captain Blue Man in this friggin' book? I love that League song. Shut up. <laughs> I mean, that is his song. It is. Um, kind of. Very, very, very good book. Um, I think the thing that gets me, it's like, people always talk about the Library of Alexandria. The thing that always gets me that I forget about it, it's like, one of the, like, first things that the Nazis destroyed, like, when Nazi Germany, like, first really kicked up, was, like, a whole library on, like, LGBT research. And they just burnt it down, and that's, like, decades of just exhaustive study gone. Yeah. That's, like, wild. Seeing a seeing a significant amount of human knowledge and effort just get destroyed by another culture is always it's a little rough. It's this a little got rough. really heavy. I'm sorry, folks. League of Legends. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get back to the league action in 20 more seconds. Actually, no. Look, there's probably a list of how many league characters are in. I almost don't want to know though. Like, you can read for yourself, but it's like, they they, they got Soraka in there, somehow, wow. and it makes sense for her to makes be there. Makes sense. That's, that's, uh, admittedly, here again. Oh, here we go. Yep, we're starting up. Also, uh, warning for folks, I am completely sinking back into my, my high school Fire Emblem phase, because I'm finally getting to play Three Houses, and... You know how I showed you guys those, like, cool videos of, like, oh, here is somebody put lyrics to, like, a really cool song from a game. Like, a lot of them were, like, Deltarune. I, I showed you those ages ago. I know that. Um, but some guy did it for a song in uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses. It's so cool. I don't get it because I'm, like, a quarter of the way through the game, but it's so cool. <laughs> wow. Very color matchy team on our peace side, by the way. What in the world? Everybody's like light blue. The blue's great. He's so goofy. <laughs> He's so goofy. <laughs> His walk cycle is so garbage. <laughs> He's got like a magnet on his hand for that skin. Uh oh. There's something that's been bugging me. This RPI support emotes like a mo Emotes like a mother, like like just constantly. <laughs> he, cr he cried after that. Also, you wanna know what's wild to me? Blitzcranks. Oh, that's a nice, nice quick trade for a. Oh my gosh, he took bone plating. That's actually super nice. Um, against Jax because Jax would say you a lot. Um, what am I thinking? Oh, Blitz Hook costs a hundred mana, level one. That's the same cost as his ultimate and most other characters' ultimates. Wow. I mean... And I mean, I get it. His hook's, his hook's like, good range, and... It, it's a kill. It's a kill. Usually. But, like, it's still... A, ooh, actually... Okay, um, this is messing with me. Uh, RPI is starting... To, oh, my gosh! Draven actually worked on, um, attacking... Um, blue a little bit to get extra adoration stacks. That's super smart. Okay. And thanks to that, he already has two hooks. Not two hooks, two um, axes. I mean, he dropped one, but it's like, it's so hard to juggle Draven axes, dude. Ooh, nice quick. Swifty's very good at those uh, quick trades, but man, does Silas do damage, and that heal he gets from Kingslayer is insane. Anyway, Silas is so cool. Give Silas his own show after Arcane. That's not even a joke. Give me a Major Rebellion show, please. Hell yeah. <laughs> they literally, they literally, like, walk back and forth. They walk up and poof, each other with their sticks. It's just so stupid. <laughs> it's just two guys and each other with big sticks. 
Ooh, okay. We actually see an early gank by Loomis here. Wow, manages to do his full combo. If mid was if mid tower was a little bit more forward, you may have seen more from Elanki Ishin there. Super tense. Oh, jeez, tries to yoink that cannon with uh, Kaisen's Void Seeker, but doesn't quite get it. Loomis is just running around like a shocking amount of ganks. There's so many like weird similarities in like members of each team. Like both junglers are quadrupeds, and both oh, both right. top laners are smacking people with sticks. Admittedly, um, Ooh, nice hook. But thanks to that, uh, wow, thanks to that karma shield, not a whole lot comes of it. Speaking of, uh, JQC is kind of boxed in here, but, ooh, wow, Silas moving around. He's ignited. That's the first blood goes to Swifty, and Swifty trying to, trying to stack that. He has the Q3. He's trying to get out, and JC gets that kill. Wow, Elongation manages to land the stun. Not a whole lot comes out there. 1-1. One, one, slight gold leaks by RQC. Cheese trying to get out of there. He is ignited, but he's gonna live. Oh, the simultaneous flash from Cheese and, ah, uh, Cheese and Exotti. Because Silverward hit Exotti, that means the kill goes to him instead of Cheese. That's a little unfortunate. Like, that kill is much better on Draven than it is on Karma. Absolutely, I mean, that's what... Ooh. Serious damage on attack. It simultaneous ignites elongate. Both players just backing up. Not worth it. Admittedly, he's trying to run that trade. He did. But like I, I adore how many like synchronized actions we're getting. Both <laughs> both ADCs flash at the exact same moment. Both top players <laughs> like same same exact like thought process. We are just seeing uh we're just seeing moments. Uh, a few brain cells uh, Ooh, wait, that's right. back and forth between these two teams. Single I wish we could get all this cool stuff with you. Ooh, there's the has Swoofy has the level lead, so he's gonna hit a bit harder than Silas. Sorry. I'm- I'm- that- that name is obviously a different language. I'm not even gonna try and butcher it. Like, this is no offense. I'm just not even gonna try. Because I feel like it'd be more offensive if I just got that poor guy's name. Ooh, they actually don't see Loomis in the vision here. Silverwood gets hooked, but here comes Loomis. Forces, forces Pizza Pie's flash. I don't know how long more comes out of it, but hey, that's a sum down. Oh my gosh, that damage on Exotti. Ooh, and here comes JQC with the gank. Elongation gets, ooh, that stun. Midtown, yeah, slows down Midtown a bit. He's gonna make it. It's close, but he makes it back to tower. Ooh, Silas has... That's the most nut thing to me. Silas can steal your ult before you're level 6 and use it against you. So he hits 6 first and he has Yone ult. If, if Swifty steps up here, he's gonna get Fate Sealed. Oh, he has, he has level 6 as well now and Loomis is right there. Oh no, but here, okay, actually both supports right there. I was gonna say, here comes Blitzcrank. I think you see just re oh no, this is actually awful for Loomis. The the onslaught of shadows. Ooh, okay, thanks to uh Sijuani's passive, meaning she doesn't get slowed when she hasn't been hit in a while. Um she does get feared, but she doesn't get the slow that comes after, which is what really makes it easy for her to kill people. So that actually saved his life. Well, I mean it remains to be seen. Game. Yeah, it's a, it's pretty even. RPI does have a 1k gold lead. Oh, she's got to be careful. He's probably right there. I don't think he knows. That Draven is just scary. Oh, he's very scary. Like, he's already slightly ahead. Oh, no. Here comes the Hex Flash from Pizza Pie. Jeez, uh -oh. he's caught out of it here. Oh, he gets hooked. There's the Ignite. Pizza Pie gets the kill, so it's not as bad as it could be, but it's still so unfortunate. That up. Now you probably know better than I would, uh, is Kaisa more of an early game or... Uh, she or scales she... very hard, um, Kaisa's... Me okay, well she has two passes, but her, like, 
big interesting passive is that um all three of her basic abilities have oh no here comes jqc with this like deep gank here and silas is coming up there's four bot lane between both towers that is very bold like yeah there's even a question ping for baron side uh oh elongation there's just the serious damage here oh and midtown manages to take him out i think uh loomis still gets uh rift jail here sorry um, Kaisa has a has an ability has a passive where um, her three main abilities her Q her W and her E all have different stat thresholds. Ooh, nice hook by uh, Pizza Five. De Exotic does so much damage to these autos. It's insane. Um, when she hits certain stat thresholds from building items, the the abilities evolve. Her Q evolves based off of attack damage, her W evolves based off her AP, and her E evolves based off her uh, attack speed. Um, nice, nice clean gank by Loomis onto Swifty. Um, elongation flashes over the ice pillar. He's gonna get this finish off here. Nice stuff. Um, basically, Kaisa's Q. If she has enough attack damage, it just doubles how many uh, rockets she shoots out of her back. Her W um, stacks more of her plasma, which is her normal passive. Um, and also, yeah, yeah, Rochelle does get a charge off here. That's some nice. Oh, there's the Onslaught of Shadows. JQC deals some serious damage to Lumis, who manages to flash out Swifty. Very close here. Flashes and gets the kill on JQC. Pizza Pie misses the hook. Silas gets frozen. Oh, but that heals. Swifty's trying to get away. Nope. Silas heal is so nuts, especially when he's that low on health. Because for some reason, it scales based off his missing HP. I mean, that's when you want the health. So. Yeah. I like I, I like Silas a lot, but I currently think he's kind of nuts, like, kit-wise. It's so weird hearing about how his old kit, when he dashed, he used to get a shield. Like, when, the, when he does that dash, he used to get a shield. That seems a little broken. And also, his W, instead of just dealing flat damage and then healing him based off of, like, his missing HP, it would also do more damage based off of your missing HP. Ah. That's kind of rough. So they just took that out of the game. First game went to RPI, it was a little rough, but Baron is still in this one. Gold lead is far, sh far smaller. So Baron's just gotta be careful, because he's by with the boost speed. Oh, JQC almost falls for the trap by Swifty and Loomis. Oh, there's the fate sealed onto him. Gets stunned too, and there's a kill for Swifty. Yone can carry games all by himself. If if Swifty manages to get enough kills, then that's that's a lot. Midtown. Ooh, nice timing for the stun. Doesn't hit it, but does manage to avoid the uh, empowered Q by Midtown. Well, both of them have lethal tempo, so they both want to like really stay in the fight. But also, oh my gosh, Pizza Pipe Flash is going for a hook there. Doesn't quite land it. Going here. Oh. Quick little trade, dashes back to his body. He d wow, after after Silas healed all that health, um, a Swifty bought a mortal reminder just for the anti-heal. Ooh, here comes Loomis. It looks like Exit is gonna get out. Oh, he might even kill Silverwork. Flashes for it. Oh no. Oh, this is so rough. That's a double kill, looking like a triple. Yeah, that's a triple kill for Exotti. Four and one. Already had an Essence Reaver on a Draven. Oh, boy. That is gonna be... That's the thing we're seeing with these games. It's just that the the enemy bot lane is performing a bit more than Baron's. Like, that's been the consistent tissue these last few games. Ooh, this would be a nice JQC. It's the knockout. But manages to dodge Silas' stolen space build. Elongation's there. But JQC actually manages to get out things on the move speed. There's the Q3, the knockout. That's trying to get away. Elongation dives on top of him. Meanwhile, Trundle is doing Trundle things and auto attacking towers. Oh, and here comes Loomis, though. Gosh, 
that the Q from uh from oh my gosh! That wow, and he one. still managed, and he still died Ooh. from ignite. However, let me say for elongation, thank God for Counter Strike. Yes. <laughs> whenever, whenever you see Jex glowing like that, he's in Counter Strike stance, which means all auto attacks miss him. That's he can then re. A pretty good ability. Yeah, he can then. Ooh, nice dodge with the um the killer instinct, but doesn't quite finish out the kill on JQC. Look at all those chickens. <laughs> Zeraptors. And pizza pie is kind of deep here. Yeah, I know, Wigzani's there. Because of that triple, he full bought his Eclipse off of nothing. And that's a tower. This is just so rough. There's so little you can do against a Fed Draven other than just like, we'll get your whole team to burst him down, which it'll be interesting to see how this trends translates into the team fight phase because the game plan is really going to be Baron has to kill Draven and RPI has to defend him. And it looks like Baron is going to get the second dragon, Cloud Drake. Which hey, that extra move speed might help them run down uh, Draven. <laughs> Blue team's turret has been destroyed. And there's the uh... Baron is down two towers. Ah. Mm. Oh, Hextrick, too, yeah. Nice route onto Blitz, but he's just barely managing to get out. Exoti chasing Elongation down. Oh, man, that could have been so much worse for Baron, but it's still so rough. He's taking the chickens from mid lane. Wow, Swifty immediately going for that Fate Seal. Forcing Silas to flash. I, I yeah, this, 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 that's a Yone moment. Yeah. I mean, we're okay with that. That's Baron. Like, that, oh, that sounds like split push. Yeah. Yep. That's two. T <laughs> Holy shit. Baron is just getting attacked from all sides. Man. That's probably another tower down right there from Drake. Definitely. Oh man, Baron is forced so far back to CS and defend their base from minions. It's gonna make it. A lot harder to actually. Uh, oh, Lumis engaging on his Swifties right there with the flash. Gets Pizza Pie, dashes back to his body. Here comes Silas, misses the hook on the Lumis and misses the Everfrost Finn. Oh boy! Swifty gets the shutdown on Exotti and gets the kill inside. That is exactly what Bear needed. A 900 gold kill for Yone on top of the triple. They're gonna have to. They're gonna have to put all their eggs on this. And one. there's a tower gone. It looks like Trundle's out too. Another kill for Yone. Yeah, no. Yone's the carry now. <laughs> yes. That you know what that. Okay, I'm gonna get scared. He the only item he had there was Blade of the Rune King. Let's see how much damage Blade of the Rune King did that did in that fight. I'm gonna throw up. One thousand four hundred and seventy-three damage in one fight. He full bought shield bow. He full bought his mythic. That's <laughs> this shit sucks. This is indeed a. I mean, I'm very moment. happy. This is great for Baron. However, what on God's green? Does... <laughs> that Yone is gonna hit like it's like. Okay, he was already hitting like a freight train. It's now it's like an oddly packed train schedule of freight trains. Okay, now no, now he's in like a bullet train. Oh, and that yeah, that's a Shelly drop. To... My guess is that Shelly was about to uh, dissipate anyway. Like the that's eye fair. of the Herald was, gonna... was about to run, run, run out. I was gonna say, that was a, kind of an odd place to put Shelly. But, ooh, that's it. Nonetheless. Yeah, she gets her charge off. Ooh, Aristotle trying to get on the Zoni. JQC actually in kind of an awkward position, he's wrapping around. There's the Fate Seal on the Pizza Pie, flashes over the wall. Yone goes back to his body. Here comes JQC, onslaught of shadows through Baron. Exotti bursts down Silverwood. Swifty gets stunned that by the so stolen Sejuanio, but they're still in this fight. Pizza Pie can see elongation, but that's oh a double kill for God. Swifty. A triple! A shutdown, too, on um, oh, JQC. Might this, might still. And he's he's he has faith in his team. He's leaving that kill for Loomis. And that is exactly the turnaround Baron needed. It sucks because Trundle moment. Uh, yeah. Baron now has 
one outside of base tower and it's mid. Uh, but she's gonna try and take something here. Okay, Yone again. Sure, sure. He had the Executioner's Blade. But he took that and full bought more reminder. <laughs> yep. He leaves base. He gets a multi kill. He gets an item. He leaves base. He gets a multi kill. He gets an item. Um, where the where the rubber bit of my earbud go? I I dropped. It. Let's see. I was missing. There it is. Right there. Oh, nice. Nice. You see, friends, we're, uh, we're so bored seeing all of these, uh, incredibly busted... I was saying, we're not bored. I'm not bored. I'm, I'm a little sleepy, but I'm not bored. That's <laughs> fair. Oh, yeah. Trundle, how much damage did the Hull Breaker already done? Okay, he just bought it. <laughs> he just bought the Hull Breaker. But he is tripling down into the split push lifestyle. He's already top lane again. I mean, that's... That's what you do. That's the Trundle. life. Especially and especially in this game. Elongation's gonna be there to meet him. Aristotle getting that stun onto JQC. The the fate sealed by Swifty forces JQC to uh, to use onslaught of shadows. Silas is steal Silas steals the the uh, the fate seal. Dragon is up in less than a minute. There she is, it's the Hex Drake. Is this Hex Drake is fantastic for both like Pretty much everybody on both teams. Hextrake is just a really good soul. There's a reason she's like rare. Get it? Having that extra chain lightning just to deal a little bit of extra damage. And it slows potentially the entire enemy team. Looks like Baron's gonna try and steal this. Uh huh. It's a little rough because Swifty doesn't have his ult there. This is very. Loomis chasing JQC off the dragon, misses the smite, and Silas finishes off. Had 43 health left. That's a kill. I, I I get it. I get why. Oh no, there's Midtown. Swifty's gonna try and get away here. That shield bow might just save him. Got the knockup on the JQC, and that's the shutdown for Swifty for JQC. Exotti running down. Ooh, that slow might save Cheese, but my guess is that Silverwood's. He's actually still running. And uh, Elongation is taking a note out of Midtown's book. Silverword is actually still on the run. Maybe he can execute here. No way. He actually executes. Nobody gets the credit for that kill. That's huge. Uh, oh, jeez. A little too slow. Oh, no. But Elongation's right there. Oh, my oh, gosh. That's just unfortunate. A very unfortunate timing for RPI. He, he knew he got caught when he was trying to take the blue buff. Did the same thing, takes the hex gate. Elongation happens to be on the other end of it. And wow, with RPI's jungle dead, it looks like Baron is gonna try and force a Baron fight here. Or hopefully not even a fight. Hopefully they just get the Baron. That's not what Baron usually looks like. Is it? No, uh, it's world, so Baron needs a little crown. Ah, okay. That and and also he's white and blue, but you know. Yeah, that's fair. It, it's messing with me because when I first started playing mm -hmm. League, um, um, it, it was like, like there's a bunch of world stuff. There's like banners around the map and I stuff. I noticed those. Um, I noticed those. I didn't realize that applied to uh, Baron as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ba Baron gets a little touch up. Well, hopefully Baron gets good use out of this Baron buff. <laughs> You're just saying that for fun now. It's fun. Oh, absolutely. It's fun. <laughs> absolutely. It's a lot of work here. Ooh, Sichuani. That frozen heart should hopefully help slow down the auto attacks from um, the problematic. Oh, oh my gosh, that. Baron wanted him dead so bad. Managed to get out. Jax buys his uh, Blade of the King's own. Make sure to see what Yoni is buying with that chain vest. But man, Draven with items. He has Lord Doms. He has an Eclipse. That Lord Dom's going to be so rough because pretty much everyone on Baron has more health than him. Everyone he's worried about at least. Wow, and thanks to all the, uh, how, just how tanky C20 is, that's a tower for Baron. Trying to go in. Even with all of them there. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's a nice... Oh, dear. There, yeah, there's the fear from the Onslaught of Shadows. Oh, Cheese dies. Swoopy trying to get out. Baron's trying to get out of this fight. Just minimize the losses. Elongation trying to slow down. Yep, oh, gets dear. killed by Exotic. Swoopy gets that extra shield just trying to get out of there. Silverwood gets ice pillared, but he might get out. 
Loomis is trying as hard as he can. The stolen Sejuani ult doesn't quite oh, make God, it. Oh, Swifty gets the kill as you can see. It's all up to him now. It's a 4v1. Yeah, yeah. As, as much as hype as it would be to try and like one-man army, this just, just, just go back. Yeah, it's probably... It's not worth it. Safest. Oh, but here it looks like they're getting an inhib. Yeah, that's definitely an inhib down. And yeah, they're just gonna bail. Unfortunate. It's gonna be rough. Well, um, at least that Yone still has the Baron Bob. That's true. It's gonna be really difficult for Baron to come back to this. Absolutely. I'm seeing that fucking so I'm sorry. Ah, <laughs> uh, no worries. Dude, there's a guy called the King of Liberation. He's basically cra He he killed a pantheon of evil gods because god told him to do it and then he killed god and made a sword out of her spine that's um his name is nemesis the king of liberation that is certainly a lot of proper nouns i know it's great i love proper <laughs> nouns they're so cool proper nouns are wonderful Ooh, okay guardian angel on dude guardian angel on yoni makes a lot of sense um you know what really messed with me? Uh, when they announced uh, Sindra's rework, uh, the, the mechanic that she uses to, oh, we see a bit of a bush stack here. Pizza Pie isn't exactly who they want, but they'll take any kill they can get here. Gets his, get, he all swiftly secures that kill. Jake, you see, yeah, somebody has to go back for, uh, go back for Midtown. It looks like Elongation is going to take the bullet. Um... Ooh, Elongation does serious damage here. Ignites on both sides. They're just punching each other. Elongation. Like Elongation's gonna get it. Yeah, though. Jack skills better. And Elongation's just better. <laughs> um. You're not biased at all. No. <laughs> um. That's a nice dragon secured by Baron. I cannot remember what I was trying to say. We were talking about proper nouns. Right? We were. Okay, that's right. Syndra's um. Syndra has a mechanic now where whenever she like hits an enemy or something, she gets a resource, and if she gets enough, it upgrades her abilities. They're called, they're called Splinters of Wrath, and my brain told me that's like a Destiny thing, bro. Yeah, that's, that's the name of like a Destiny quest that, that, item, bro. That sounds, yeah, that sounds That's like a proper a, noun of proper noun. That's I'm a, about to say, that sounds like a weapon of sorrow right there. <laughs> I mean, yeah, exactly. Splinter of Wrath sounds like a dollar store weapon of sorrow. <laughs> Or it's like the resource you use to finish crafting the weapon of sorrow. Exactly, like weapon of sorrow becomes shattered so absolutely that it, it is all that's left of it is just the bitter splinter. All that's left of it is emotion. Emotion. I was trying to bait you to say that. Ooh, elongation going in here. I don't know about that hook from Pizza Pie. Yeah, he's like, ha ha! I made a mistake. And elongation just just turns around. No harm. I'm actually surprised by the back here, but it makes sense. Gotta, gotta cover uh, Midtown, who's on the way. Baron is coming up here in a bit. Dragon, in over a minute. Baron is just moving as a unit, and that makes a lot of sense. Like they managed to win these fights. I almost feel like. Like they're they they're taking fights while after they've chased Trundle off, so Elongation can join the fights. So it's basically a five v four. Right. Like uh, Midtown hasn't been in a fight for a while. Like a I team was fight. Say, I mean. like uh, I've I've only seen Midtown just split pushing. He's he's been this time. he's been following the plan. Yeah. Capital T, capital T. You know, you know what kills me? Apparently, the the whole like rise the plan thing. The plan used to be called the uprising, spelled exactly how you expect. <laughs> and I kind of bummed that they stopped using that name because it's rise way. Rise would do that. That's though. way funnier to me. Rise would absolutely do that thought. The uprising. <laughs> we must tear off our shackles, brothers. I said that as Silas E2. That was cool. Ah. Ah, still in this. Yes. 
Wow, and it looks like RPI. Gonna go for a Baron play here. Pizza by his plain bodyguard a bit. Oh, it's gonna be very awkward. Oh, there's the TP from Midtown as well. Elongation isn't in position, and he doesn't have... He oh my gosh! Stole it. Baron actually managed to steal it. And Yone gets out. Almost! He flashes so that he can lifesteal from blue buff. Meanwhile, uh, RQC manages to burn down Silver. Where Cheese is trying to get away, but Exotic's right there behind him. Wow! And that enhanced uh, enhanced back means that just barely... Um, oh no! Nice hook by Pizza Pie. Exotic secures Exotic secures that kill. Speaking of speaking of destiny, I've been wanting to say Exotic every time I see this dare uh, see the dream's name. So who exactly got out of there with Baron Bob? Um, everyone besides Silverword and um, Cheese. Nice shutdown for yeah funnel all the oh flashing into Exotic to secure that man. Midtown just doesn't do enough damage to him. Oh, he gets knocked out of the air by Silas. Here said comes Swifty. He wants good. that shutdown. The fake sealed. You can't stop when it's on the way. They managed to kill him, but he has that guardian angel. He's going to be up in just a few seconds. So they don't get the shutdown. He's still in this. Ooh. Ah, oh, man. The gift from the north from um, Sijuani. And Swifty still managed to get a luster, but still a shutdown on Silas. Good stuff. This is, for the first time this whole game, Baron has a gold lead. Yeah, I was there. to say. They're absolutely still in this, and it's entirely thanks to the 18-3 and three Yone. Yeah. How much damage has this stupid item done? Uh... We got what? the funny number. Four! I need you to understand how much damage 4,000 damage is. That's a full... That's like a full Sejuani and a half. Yikes. It's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. And it's not all the damage, it's just like... It's a, not even it's like all a, the damage. It's a little fraction of it. Yeah, it's just... That's just the bonus damage. And he burned down that dragon. Oh, Draven tried to steal it with the... Uh... Whirling Death. Yeah. <laughs> Nice save. Static field, hijack, onslaught of shadows, subjugate. I told uh, Andy earlier, I love that the eternal for subjugate is called taxation. <laughs> eternal. Uh, little achievements. Oh, right, right, right. Aw, oh, JQC. Elongation works right into JQC. However, he is a level 17 uh, Jax. So, probably just don't take the fight, don't risk it, you know? You never know if Swifty's right behind him. He wasn't. He would have won that fight if he fought that. I was about to say, yeah. But hey, Swifty has put the fear of God into that. Yes. Never underestimate the, uh, the, um... I forgot what I was gonna say, <laughs> never mind. Eh, we sleepy. Resident Sleeper. <laughs> what was the what was the difference about Kek W? I love like the way he says that kills me every time. Just hearing anyone like say something like that. Saying Twitch. I'm sorry, it might be cringe, but saying Twitch emotes are so funny to me. It's so funny because it's ridiculous. Like, what, what What? does Papega mean, bro? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know but I, I like the way it feels when it comes out of my mouth. You know, hypothetically speaking, if Papega becomes ubiquitous enough, it could just be, become a part of, like, common language. If Papega becomes ubiquitous. That's too, that's too yeah. big of a word to be used in the same sentence. Fucking Papega, bro. Well, that's what you have to do, though. You have to you have to juxtapose a Twitch emote said in English. Do you know what Pepega is? It's it's like the wavy Pepe. Yeah, it's. The... <laughs> I don't know what it means, but sometimes the VTuber clips I see on TikTok say you know it. What? It's funny. You know what? We're gonna find out. Are we gonna Pepega. Urban Dictionary we're gonna, Pepega? We're gonna Urban Dictionary Pepega. <laughs> hey, there's nothing going on in this match. We have, well, okay, actually, it's very high tension. Uh, but nobody's actually really doing anything right now. Everyone's 
<laughs> Powerful. Powerful. Wait, where? In ship boat thing? Ah, I see. <laughs> Vibes of the Anquia speeds the steady in her life. What? <laughs> Look at General. She added all the rest. Vibes with the coin. We love Thomas. Okay, it sounds like Team 3 game went well. Ooh, nice engage by Swifty. You gotta be careful, though. His Guardian Angel isn't up quite yet. Oh, that Whirling Death just barely getting connected. And Silverwood gets the kill on our. Uh, our RQC, Cheese gets the kill on Pizza Pie, and Elongation finishes off Midtown. This is exactly the fight the Baron needs. Just finishes the Killer Instinct on a Draven. His his Guardian Angel is down. Loomis with the engage, and the shutdown goes to Swifty. Silas gets finished off by Ch oh Silas gets finished off by Cheese, but is dying for the man just to finish him off. This is the, they're gonna need a hard push here. I don't think they can end the game off this, but they're much closer than they were. Holy shit, that came out of nowhere. This is gonna be interesting. This is very interesting. Cause just like that, I would almost say Baron is in the lead. This smells really good, whatever that is. I don't know, man, but I'm already hungry. I was going to try and talk you into ordering food after this, I'll be honest. I would love to. Um, I'm trying I'm trying to stay I, I know. Because I, know. I, I doubt this match is just going to pay as much as I thought it would. Mm -hmm. Ooh, they, ooh, wow. Oh, actually made some results over. Wow, Swifty. Uh, Loomis gets J, uh, JQC, but Swifty's Guardian Angel is back up. He's level 18. Silas bites his dust before he can even use that gift. Uh, give them the... Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, you're fine. I mean, we are technically supposed to be casting this. That is a Mr. Baron call. No, I am working, so as soon as things happen, I need to shift modes. Yes. Elongation is waiting. He's get, trying to engage on the exhaust. He's just getting bursted down with all the CC, though. He manages to get the stomachs of the flash, and there's Cheese with the Killer Instinct. Swifty gets Exotti before his Guardian Angel can come back up, and Cheese gets Pizza Pie, Elongation, healing a bit off the Wolves, and Midtown is trying to finish Cheese off, but with that stun, that might be it for him, the Fake Seal to secure the kill, Elongation finishes him off, nobody's even going to turn around and get the Dragon Soul, because they might be able to end here, because there's already a freaking inhib gone, and um, these are auto attackers, so these towers are basically gone, JQC is going to fight, JQC and Sai is going to fight tooth and nail here to hold the line, Ooh, that still has that, fear. it was a very good onslaught of shadows, elongation, very low health here, Swifty's just doing what he does in autoing towers, look at that, Swifty you have guardian angel, ignore them and right click the nexus, oh the W shield, just right click the nexus, keep swinging, <laughs> Five it? seconds till Exotti and Pizza Fire up. Does it finish it off? Game two goes to Penn State Baron. Oh my Just Lord. barely. That means we are going to game three. Did you see um, uh, Exotti and Midtown left as soon as that happened? Yeah. I mean, I'd be frustrated too. That's fair. Look at that damage. Holy Look at that damage. Holy moly. Oof. I mean... That's, I mean, it's a Draven and a Yon. What do you, what do you yeah, expect? Yeah, yeah. Holy Hannah. We'll be right back, folks. Gonna take a quick break so we wait for the next game.
Hi everybody, sorry for the silence, we were just sorting some stuff out, now that we've got the, um, draft going, we can take a look at what's going on. Um, Baron immediately, yeah, Draven's getting banned, that's fair, and then from, <laughs> from RPI, that Sejuani's getting banned too, which makes sense. Loomis's Sedge was enabling a lot of what happened last game. Yes. So I'm not at all surprised that that's getting banned. <clears throat> It'll be interesting to see what this final game is like because of that. Yeah, this this game could absolutely go either way. Baron made a, managed a fantastic comeback last time, and I'm wondering if they could hold on to some of that momentum. Uh, a Callista ban from Baron, which is interesting because nobody plays that champ. And understandably, RPI's final ban going to Yone. Ooh, the Instalock Soraka. Now, this is intriguing because RPI's been like first banning Soraka the last I was two games. I gonna say, and Soraka's typically pretty good. I mean. I mean, uh, having a constant blood bag can only be so bad. Yeah. Ooh, in the Aatrox hover from RPI. I mean, okay. That's, that's something else that was banned last game. And, and the, the Azir, Azir, which was, you're right, also banned last game. Interesting. <clears throat> the bits of Ford What does Callista do? I've never seen Callista. Uh, Callista throws spears. Her passive being if you click to move, like, right after she throws the spear, she mm -hmm. does a short dash. And you can do that oh. with every single auto. Also, whenever she lands a spear on someone, it's embedded in them, like, ah, okay, and, and so. that and that stacks infinitely. As long as Callista's within a certain range, she can then cast E, which is called Rend, where she tears all the spears out of a person. Oh, so and, she's just poke. Yeah, no, well, not really. Like she's super all in. -y. Like, like she wants yeah. her team to peel for her, so she can just stack <laughs> a billion spears inside the whole enemy team. That and just yeah, exactly. Amumu and Ari on Baron's side. Amumu was also something banned by RPI. That is true. And Ari's just Ari's just in good. General. Ari's just good in general. She's just a very, very good battle mage. Yeah. Azir does a lot of poking, but Ari actually has shockingly good sustain since yeah. her rework, so. I always forget that she can heal herself. She can? Um, whenever she kills something mostly minions um she gets a stack of like a soul if she gets seven of those she just heals for a chunk she also heals for a bigger chunk whenever she gets a takedown on a champion oh okay final waves of bands going through rpi hovering a malphite ban which is interesting No, there's Jax being banned and Baron hovering on Hecarim. Ooh, Senna. Ooh, no, there's Udyr being banned. That's fair. Yeah. First game had a very dominant Udyr tearing out from RPI. And they still have to lock in their jungle. So, it makes sense. There you go. Mm, sorry. Oh, yeah, you good. <clears throat> yep. <laughs> Yone, Jax, Sejuani, all. Ooh, and Misfortune. Makes sense. Mm. Ooh, and the Tom Kench ban from Baron. Interesting. Considering Baron were the only ones really playing Tom. I guess the Tom really counters whoever they want to lock in for top lane. Which leaves me intrigued. That's fair. Olaf jungle. Olaf. Olaf. Oh yeah, Olaf. I forgot about him. <laughs> he's just the dude that can't die. He's just a Viking. He's just a Viking. But he's not like Trendomir can't die. He's, he's like... just like unlucky can't die. People, somebody wrote a very very cute fanfic where um the reason that he couldn't die was because Soraka <laughs> liked him and so she kept bringing him back from the brink. Like over and over and over again. I was about Ooh. to say like I was about to. I was... Shen, I like Shen a lot. I thought you were about to say that um like um. What am I thinking of um? Yep, yeah, there there I go again. Never mind. You're good for. I'll, I'll think good. about it. I'll think about it later. Um, Kindred. 
I thought you were about to say that Kindred has a crush on Olaf. No, but actually, not to mention, Soraka Kindred is actually also a ship. I've seen people do. Hmm. League ships are interesting. I, I respect it. Oh, and the Sivir lock in. Okay. Only person left on RPI could be their ADC or their support. Okay, I don't know who's the ADC and who's the support. Because yeah. Seraphine APC has the highest win rate bot lane in the entire game right now. Really? Last time I checked, second highest win rate was Swain. Good lord. Um, so I'm very intrigued on who's who here. My guess is honestly that Senna is the support. Alright. So let's get ready. I am actually going to turn on that AC. That's probably a good idea. I was about to say, we're going to post these. Sweaty. <clears throat> Yeah, it turns out when somebody's making lamb chops outside your goddamn door because we're crackheads. Sorry if that's a little loud, folks, but, uh, me hot. It is time for, uh, it's time. Final, uh, final lock-ins for the final game for Team 1 tonight. And most likely the final games that we're going to cover. I'm. I feel like a lot of these matchups could go either way, depending. Sorry, folks. One sec.
Is that Keanu? So, sorry for that, folks. That that is not Kiana. No, <laughs> that's Zipper. Ah, uh, oh, yeah. No, that makes sense. Kiana. Okay, I'm like borderline. <laughs> well, I'm borderline a lot of things. Okay. <laughs> it's still funny. I think I beat him. Not the based Doctor Shen. One of the only two Shen skins I don't have. Yes. Well, it's Shen support. No, it's not. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Where's Shen? Shen's top lane. Uh, Shen's a top laner. Right. Shen's a tank, that's right. You were telling me this earlier. Yeah. yeah. We got the magical girl Ari mid lane. I was right, that's Exidy on a APC uh, Seraphim. What does Seraphim do? Um, she has three basic abilities, Mortar of Damage, Slow Wave, and um, Shield. Her passive is that every third ability casts twice, and it's stuff like she shoots two of the damaging waves and they do more damage. She shoots two of the E's and the second one roots you. And she shields twice and the second shield heals her teammates. Could you shut the door if you're gonna step in here? Okay, bye Andy, say bye to the folks. Bye. Andy said bye. <laughs> what a legend. What a, what a, what a, what a, what a specimen. The peak of the human condition. Definitely one of the people of all time. <laughs> President of the world. I love that nobody knows who that old schmuck is. There's a Street Fighter V character named uh, G, and he calls himself the President of the World and dresses like Abe Lincoln and hits people with magic, solar, like, earth energy. Also, big fights happening by... Sorry, I, well, sorry, well, sorry while I dropped some um, um, Street Fighter lore. I know. First blood here, so. I don't know. Wow, <laughs> Olaf going for a wide gank on top is my my assumption here. Yep, the elongation doesn't have it warded, but he's playing it safe. He's backing up. He actually looks like he's going for the ward. Oh yeah, oh, good some Serious damage from JQC. Elongation trying to get out of there. Dashes over the wall. Good stuff. The flash from JQC. Oh, oh wow, elongation ignites, but it's not enough. All that burst from. All that burst from Olaf, wow, that's very rough. Olaf is really a jungle you do not want to let get ahead early. That's fair. Because then he just runs you down. Because his ult is that um, for a period of time, CC no longer affects him. Oh. Like, um, Trindamir is man literally too angry to die. Olaf is man literally too angry to stop moving. Unstoppable force versus immovable object. He, he, yeah, kind of actually. He is going to kill you. It's going to happen. It's not. It's not a. It's if, not it's a, a choice. Win. It's not a when. It's a happen. It's well, happen. I guess the only question is when because it's going to happen. Wow, nice patience from Minto getting that Q3 on. Pizza pie so low. You can tell how much cheese wants that kill. And thanks to that gank, elongation down just enough. Ooh, nice dodge by Kyo. Oh, there's the charm though. Gets uh, get, they get they get uh, they, 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 he flashed. They got his flash. It's hard to fast talk when you're sleepy. Absolutely. I mean, at least this is the last one for the league, right? How did the Italians do it? Yeah, yeah, it is. It's a genetic thing. Oh, that's a nice. Oh man, they the Q3. They're doing some serious damage. It is Aatrox. It is Aatrox, and Aatrox hits like a freight train. This poor Shen is just getting body. He's taking some damage, but he's not out of this yet. Is, this, is Shen a scaler? Kinda. He's he's more just like a lot of support and feel for his team. Also, there's nothing that Shen wants more than to be under tower against you, because the game plan being to somehow, and it feels great every time it happens, the guy tower dives you, you taunt him, and then make yourself immune to his auto attacks, so the tower's just shooting him over and over again as he's forced to fruitlessly auto you. 
Oh, there's the W. Yep. There's the, uh, that shadow dash gets him just outside of it. Ooh, the silence from Silverward. Seraphine has such range. Just so much range of that E. Nice spell shield by Cheese. Silver spell shield was changed a while ago where it used to give her mana because her abilities cost so much mana. Now it heals her. Which I kind of like less. Wow, the flash from uh, Pizza Pie actually lands the root. And that's what I'm talking about. Elongation gets the um, gets that taunt under tower, but Minto pops the ult. He's still alive, and yeah, JQC is slowed, but he's got to make it out. That's so annoying, like, as a top laner. Like, you, he's getting 2v1 under his tower. Yeah, I mean... On the bright side, um, Cheese somehow managed to get out. Looks wow, like... Midtown's gonna get two plates off that. Lumus is gonna. Yeah, Lumus is definitely like one of those junglers that takes a while to come online. But when he does, he's just a CC machine. How's it go? The soldier? <laughs> it's uh, usually they're sand soldiers, but it's the world skin, so it's like Mecha Azir, and ah. so they're like robots. Yeah. yeah. The world skins are kind of a mixed bag. Some of them are really cool, some of them are stinky. Like, I didn't like Jarvan's last year. But That's it's like, fair. this new oh, Azir one's really cool. Honestly, I'm not a fan of Jarvan in general. Yeah. He's just like, there's there's a lot of spear people in the game. I, Jarvan's not one of the Spears spear are people. cool. I'm bummed that the only thing every game does with spears is make them poke you. Ooh, misses the charm with that ult up. Loomis is on the way. The Sharima shuffle misses, and Loomis gets that stun. Swifties. Oh, the Shen ult just barely saves him. Loomis secures the kill. Nice. Wow. But, like, I'm bummed that the only thing ev ev uh, any game does with spears is people poke you. Nah, man. That's a long stick. You can hit people with that. Like, yeah, be a little just creative. Yeah, staff with a dangerous end. <laughs> It's a quarter staff with a spiky bit. I, I taped a knife to the end of my quarter staff. It, can this now be labeled as a spear DM? I mean, that's, that's probably how this first spear ha spear happened. People were hitting each other with sticks, and the guy's like, "Wait, I'm gonna tie this sharp rock to the end of the stick." You know, speaking of sharp oh, no. rocks and sticks and um, early spears, uh, I was having this conversation with Olivia. There's something trying to get out of there. Oh wow, the alt pop from the Ragnarok. From JQC, Loomis managed to get away. Continue. Um, like your European spears, because they use metal, they don't really have to worry about the tip shattering as much because the metal can bend and fly and then go back to its original shape. Right. However, like um, Mayan spears, and Aztec spears, the only thing they had to work with was obsidian, and admittedly, obsidian is extremely sharp. But it's also a rock. Um, it's also a rock, so it's very brittle. Mm -hmm. Like, to give you an idea how sharp obsidian is, it's, like, ten times sharper than a medical scalpel. Yeah, I've seen the videos of it, like, slicing through stuff like nothing. And so, you have... And so, like... Mesoamerican warriors, like, had thousands of years to, like, perfect the art of wielding an obsidian spear. Raw. Because, like, while they were better at cutting through things... Ooh, nice! Nice Curse of the Sad Mummy from Loomis. No way, Exidy! Okay, jeez. The Boomerang Blade does manage to get Exidy there. Pizza Pie tries to pop all, but since Exidy's behind him, the shield does hit him. How on earth did she almost survive that? Uh... Oh, her healing and shielding. And also, ah, they okay. cast Summoner Spell Heal. Also, Elongation's about to get Tower Dive again, because, uh, God is dead. Yeah, okay. Holding on to the taunt. Good stuff. Taunts? Oh no, he goes for the taunt on Olaf as he CC immune Holy from Ragnarok. That's so unfortunate. On the bright side, oh, Swifty! On the bright side, Swifty secures the kill there, and Baron is going to get a dragon because they knew that um, Olaf was top lane. That's a nice safe dragon. <laughs> Yippee! And oh, we're looking at a bit of a 
bit of a splice onto... Oh no, the charm missed! The Loomis is right there. There's the stun. Pizza Pie trying to come in. The Sharima Shuffle and the Flash gets Baron off of him. Ooh, that root doesn't connect with anyone. Man, Swifty's gotta be careful. Ooh, nice charm onto Pizza Pie. The Senna has, like, no health. Oh, that's a very dangerous position to be in, though. She's managing to dodge a lot of these. It's rough. He's managing to dodge a lot of these, but Seraphine's natural healing. Oh, there's the charm! On top of all the minion aggro that uh, Cheese was tanking there. That's so unfortunate. Come on, Shen. You can fight him. You got that thorn, man. <laughs> Alright, and I think this is the point where I'm going to have to get... No keto. It was so nice having you together. Yes, it was wonderful to be here. It's always wonderful to be here. I should be down here more. Yeah. Hopefully. In the coming weeks I shall. Hell yeah, man. Alright, well, uh, have a wonderful evening and uh, Godspeed to the players of this game. I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow, man. Oh yeah? Alright, see you later, Michael. See you, dude. Alright. It was just us. It's so rough, because I don't even think... I mean, in location, yeah, save this call just back up, because like, I would also be suspecting a gank here, and I mean, ah. <laughs> that would have been pretty rough. Um, they saw Azir moving topside, so they know he was on the way. So some kind of gank is gonna happen, but nothing really comes out of it. At this point, um, Midtown is just buff enough to kind of take the tower with little to no response. Oh, Midtown pops uh, the the world ender, but get uh, gets elongation splash as he just moves out of there. Big engage by um, by ba -ba 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 Azir with the um, the what you call it? What you call it? What you call it? Uh, Emperor's divide. There you go. Big man. RPI just really likes tower dives. Isn't what I'm getting here. Ooh, jeez. Spell shielding the Encore from Seraphine. He's already very low. If she's gonna get a good hook here, especially with all those ricochets. Quiet, Exotic doing the same play, backing up. Uh, Midtown gets the first tower as Shelly's pushing into the secondary one. Loomis and Swifty try and kill her before them. She gets the charge off just barely. Azir, all that poke. And wow, um, interesting. Swifty actually went Leandries instead of the typical Ludens that you see on Ari. Wow, that range! Jesus, gotta be very careful here. Oh, here comes Loomis. Gotta be careful. JQC's right there. Oh, there's the CC immunity. Running in, got the core trigger. Ooh, it's barely dancing in out of death here. Wow, okay, the curse the sad mummy does connect though, right as the old runs out. That's a sh oh, that's a kill for cheese. Might be a second, that's a double kill for cheese. The elongation just suffering through what he's gotta. It's how wants that Q3. Oh, pops the world ender. Yeah, elongation's gonna back off. The flash Q, oh my gosh, but no way. Oh my God. 
Elo Gation gets the shutdown there. The 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 spirit ref Ooh, nice encore and ooh wow! The encore actually pulled cheese just outside of range of the Senna ult. The dawning shadow damage range just barely misses. The ricochet not quite enough. Oh, but the minion's gonna finish cheese off. Wow. So actually overall this is pretty sweet for Baron. She's got a double kill and Elo Gation getting that shutdown. Man. I just cannot get over how, like, oh man, the, um, the Spirit's Refuge blocked the empowered W, or blocked the empowered auto attack from, um, what's his name? Blocked the empowered auto attack from Aatrox, maybe he just barely survived long enough for Aatrox to burn down. Swifty has to pop the Spirit Rush just to get out of that Encore, but... Yeah, I just want Spirit Rush. Safe bet makes sense. Even with that shutdown, the elongation is a good chunk behind. Oh, Swifty's hovering. Looks like he wants help with it. Ooh, elongation gets the taunt. Swifty's on the way. Elongation, you gotta slow him down a little bit. There's the wish. Big fight happening mid. Oh, the elongation and mid are, sh are chasing him down. A TP comes in. There's the world ender. Big life steal from Midtown. Elongation pops the ult that saves Swifty in just a little bit. But man, Midtown just does so much damage, especially with the zero right behind him. That's a kill. Wow. Cheese manages to, sh manages to kill JC. And he manages to get Pinky. Or Pizza. Sorry. <laughs> There's a big gold difference here. Kills, man. Big CS gap, especially top side. Baron is a big chunk of gold behind. But they're not completely out of this yet. Bit of calm before the storm. Very interesting to see where the next big fight comes from. Oh, 
Oh no, that's a big stun. Wow, Loomis going straight in. There's the curse of Sad Mummy. Triple stun pizza pie has to flash out. On Corbin. Oh wow! Aristotle stun managed to finish him off. Uh, JQC is Ragnarok just finishes up. Air, uh, Loomis flashing over the wall. Chase exit. He's still on him. Elongation's right behind him. They gotta be careful though. Azir is following the team. Exit is coming back. There goes JQC. And here's Mitro. Azir falls. Mitro's going in. He's got. He has a Gore Trigger. He has a major life. So flash over the wall to finish off Chase with that Q2. Q3 gets a Mumu. Elongation's forced to run. Definitely wants to get something on Exotic here, hopefully, but there's not much he can, especially with A-Truck. See, like, so much damage. Red team bursting down that dragon. That's two for them. It is Ocean Soul. Whole lot of sustain, which it's gonna be real rough if Aatrox gets all that. Some massive bounties on uh, on RPI side. Guy out there dodges the root. Just, oh my gosh! Azir gets a big Sharima shuffle on Lumis, who manages to use him as a way almost to get out, but thanks to Mitro, Azir manages to finish Lumis off. Tra transitioning to Baron here. Yeah, uh, RPI does manage to get the Baron. Chasing down Elongation here. Swoopsy super low. There he goes. JQC managed to finish him off. Elongation forced to flash. Chase is trying to get out of there. Silverwood's right behind Elongation. Ooh. Yeah, Silverwood's going to get bursted down. Trying to... Oh, Cheese gets ran down by JQC. Ragnarok just barely ended. <laughs> Looks like that's with Shelly and the Baron buff. It looks like that's gonna be game. Overall, two to one RPI takes this set over Penn State Bear. Rough initial showing for the varsity team, but there's always room for improvement, especially for a position like this. That's what we have to look forward to. So everyone who decided to join us tonight thank you deeply for doing so i have been your host michael manning i was joined today by miguel moya and andy sit two very very good friends of mine i look forward to catching you guys next week on monday where we have uh we are going to be continuing our uh super smash brothers league I'm wondering if it's gonna be just as much of a stomp as last week was hopefully because that was entertaining so Everyone out there, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Please be safe, be good to each other, and have a fantastic night.